Listen closely for one second. Training in the sand is obviously important for beach volleyball players, but it's almost as equally important for indoor volleyball players as well. And today I've got an amazing sand workout for you to perform. As an indoor volleyball player progresses through their off-season training and they've built up their strength, it's a good idea to start going in the sand and starting to do some speed, plyometric, and sand workouts. The reason for this is the sand acts as your resistance, right? So it overloads all your movements and also you can do the athletic based movements that are more related to volleyball. You can also get an amazing conditioning stimulus. Training in the sand, one of the major benefits it helps with indoor is improving your repeat power ability. That's essentially your ability to be powerful for a prolonged period of time. Anyways, guys, enjoy this routine and dig in. This workout's designed to be performed with a buddy, so you need one other person there. So after we're done warming up, we'll spend 20 to 30 minutes playing short court or one-on-one -on -one volleyball. It's the, the same thing. Going hard with short court for 20 minutes is tough. It will take a lot out of you. To play short court, we basically play on like a 12 foot by 12 foot court and you get up to three contacts and you play like regular volleyball. Now I love short court for many reasons. It's working on exploding out of the sand on your jump. It's working on jumping and then immediately having to make your next move. It also works on many fine contacts and we know volleyball is not a game of perfect it's often about improvisation so once again you playing this for 20 to 30 minutes will take a ton out of you and then once we're done playing short court you know we'll take some time to rest and then I'm gonna do a pass and then I'm gonna transition off the net and then go max out into attack. So what's this doing? It's kind of pre-fatiguing me a little bit before I actually attack the ball, but I'm still trying to put in 100% effort onto my attack. So I'll do this anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes, resting whenever I need to. I'm just getting a couple extra attacking reps here, just showing off a little bit. And then our last part of our conditioning, this is interval training. So we're going to do this in intervals. This is called star drill. So you're going to sprint through the star drill and then you got to have a certain allotted rest period. So here I was going 30 seconds. So I was going through the star drill. I'd rest 30 seconds and I went through that eight times. I can tell you that really sucked. It was very, very tough. It is quite challenging to do, but I mean, the intensity that you push yourself with the star drill has to be related to your fitness level. So you might have to modify that accordingly. Guys, if you like this routine, I have a full speed and agility program designed on how to become a faster, more fluid moving volleyball defender. Now there's four videos that are comprehensive and a full PDF of the written out reps, sets, and all of that. And it's completely for free. You can get it. There's no strings attached, none of that stuff. To access this program, all you need to do is click the link. It might be over here or down below. I don't know, you just gotta find that link and you get access to that full program. Anyways guys, I always appreciate you tuning in. I'm gonna be coming out with more content soon. If you wanna see all the upcoming videos, make sure to click that subscribe button below so you can see all the future videos. If you've never met me before, what's up? I'm Coach Reed. I work seven days a week working with youth volleyball players all the way up to the best volleyball players in the world. My goal behind my content that I'm creating is to help educate more volleyball players and coaches so they can learn how to safely and effectively jump higher, hit harder, and have better overall movement patterns through proper strength training, power development and learning how to develop those motor patterns so that you can optimize your movements. Anyways, guys, I'll catch you next time. Stay safe and have a great day.